Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be talking about the positive and not so positive or shadow sides of each planet in the astrology chart. Let's start with the sun sign. The sun sign's positive attributes are health, vitality, integration, direction, leadership. The not so positive aspects would be overemphasized ego structure, bossing other people around, and a real overinflated sense of pride. Let's go to the moon sign. So positive qualities of the moon sign would be inclusion, intuition, psychic receptivity, the ability to be able to empathize empathize with others, the ability to be compassionate. Someone with a well-aspected moon may love animals and may take care of children, um, almost like a, like a Mother Earth caretaker type of person. The negative, as the negative qualities or shadow side would be over clingy, uh, over, overly emotional, negative emotions, perhaps erratic emotions, and being stuck in the past. Let's go to Mercury. Mercury in the astrological chart is the messenger. Positive qualities of Mercury would be good communication, the ability to be able to be punctual, the, be, the ability to be able to convey things in a well-structured manner that other people can understand. Negative aspects of Mercury would be overly confused thinking um, and the ability to be able to not really have people understand what you're saying. Um, also, um, perhaps um, if you heard of the, the, excuse me, the quality of Mercury in retrograde. Mercury in retrograde could mean that Things are delayed, speech could be misunderstood by people, technology, um, and, and other avenues that we use to communicate with other people could be delayed. So, so these all are all rule under the domain of Mercury. So as you can see, Mercury in the astrology chart is the, is the mind and um, to a certain extent and the, the aspect of communication. So it's very important that Mercury hopefully be in and the positive. So let's go to Venus. Positive aspects of Venus would be the ability to be able to create and flow money, the ability to be able to enjoy harmonious relationships and beautiful objects. Venus rules our love nature. Venus also rules our ability to be, to be able to appreciate beautiful things and to have harmonious relationships with others. Shadow sides of Venus would be anything having to do with jealousy or quarreling in the aspect of relationship, anything having to do with not being able to make any money at something that you're perhaps trying hard at, anything um, losses, losing money, those could all be the shadow sides of Venus. However, quarreling in relationships and um, losing money can also be can also have to do with other other planets as well. Let's go to Mars. So Mars is the planet of um, of action and energy also a sense of power to a certain extent those would be the positive qualities of mars the, the the ability to be like a spiritual warrior the ability to be able to trailblaze in your your own path to create your own direction with something without stepping on the toes of others without fighting with others without having to overly mark your territory and hurt someone else. Those last things would be the negative qualities of Mars. 
Jupiter. Jupiter in the chart is the guru. It's the philosophical wise man. So the positive qualities of Jupiter are optimism, wisdom, and the ability to be able to see the positive out of something that so seemingly seems so negative. Negative qualities of Jupiter would be over, overdoing it, overeating, overspending, um, and, and sort of using that aspect of that, oh, everything's going to work out. Meanwhile, your credit cards are completely run up and you have no more money, but you're thinking, oh, you know, I was, I, I just feel lucky when there's no practical re application to behind why you're feeling like that. So that's the shadow side of Jupiter. Let's go to Saturn. Saturn, Saturn's positive qualities are the ability to be, the ability to be able to um, work up and build a disciplined structure, right? To be able to see success and results from what you worked hard at. Saturn is the time tester. Saturn rules the time of our first breath to our our last breath here. So Saturn rules father time, right? In relation to our birth and death. So with Saturn, nothing comes easy. Positive qualities again would be patience, perseverance, and endurance. Negative qualities would be over pessimism, right? Overly cautious, overly fearful. Um, and there, there is this sort of clingy energy to Saturn, Saturn's shadow side, which could be a little bit too stuck, a little bit too rigid when it comes to the ability to be able to move through life's challenges and obstacles. So Uranus. Uranus is, um, it spins this way on its orbit, right? Whereas all the other planets spin this way. So the positive qualities of Uranus would be ingenious, inventive, brilliant, um, original, creative, intuitive, the ability to have perhaps prophetic insights, um, the ability to be able to be like a future trendsetter. Some of the negative qualities of the Uranian energies can be over rebellious, right? And 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 um, with that over rebellion comes a a sense of not wanting to conform to anything in society. However, what these individuals need to realize is that um, it's good to question the the status quo with things, right? And and to develop your own ideas and to be, to develop your own opinions. However, when someone is too rebellious with something, um, a lot of times that energy can create havoc and it can create chaos, um, and it can get people charged up, all in a negative way, right? Unless it's something like a peaceful protest, and. In that case, if it's a peaceful protest, um, you know, then it could possibly make positive changes. But a lot of times the Uranian energies are, are really erratic and they can create, um, you know, you know, things like um, like arrests with cops, you know, people blowing up buildings, people hurting each other, you know, that type of thing. Let's go on to Neptune. So Neptune is way out there in the solar system and the positive qualities of Neptune are spiritual, idealistic, the ideal of universal love and oneness, the ideal of spiritual equality. Those positive Neptunian vibrations, they create uh, a real spiritually healing and calming atmosphere um, and they're really good to sort of simmer down and transmute negative energies. I would say positive transmutation. 
of energetic frequencies would be one of Neptune's positive qualities. The more negative qualities of Neptune would be delusion, escapism, addiction, codependence, and even suicide. Um, Neptune can take the individual so far down a path of delusion that they can perhaps create, um, you know, some sort of suicide for themselves. Let's go to Pluto, and this will be the last planet I'm going to talk about today. Pluto is the aw awakener. Pluto is the, is the planet of power, uh, a strong sense of power. Of a foundational power within yourself would be the probably one of the most positive qualities of Pluto. Um, the ability to to have psychological depth, spiritual understanding, the be the ability to be able to transform a negative aspect into a positive aspect. So we're talking about positive transformation. Some of the negative qualities of Pluto would be having power over others, right? Power tripping. Um, someone like Putin, Vladimir Putin, right? That guy just has desires to rule the world, right? I would consider that a negative aspect of Pluto. Someone like Donald Trump, right? What we see here are qualities of Pluto gone wrong. So those that's just a brief explanation of some of the positive and some of the negative or more shadow aspects of the ast astrology planets. Thanks for listening and please like and subscribe.